compound microscope. In simple microscope, we can only enlarge to certain extent and the mag maximum magnification is possible only when the object is placed at least distance of distinct vision. But in case of to overcome these difficulties, we make use of the compound microscope in which the image is first the object is magnified and it is further magnified by one more lens. It means the compound microscope consists of two lenses. That is two lenses. One is both are convex lens. Convex lens. So first lens is first lens we call its objective objective or field lens or field lens second one it's called is second one is called this objective lens is facing the object so it faces the object the second one which faces the eyes is called eye is called eyepiece eyepiece or ocular or we can call it as a ocular. It means it consists of two lenses, both are coaxially placed. Coaxially placed means both the principal axis are same. So this is the first lens, which we call it as an objective. Objective. It has got a small aperture and focal length. So this will be facing the objects. So it is called objective. A image and object is kept here. Object. We got focal length. That is focal length. Both the side will have focal length. If an object is placed between F0 and 2F0, its magnified image will be formed beyond to beyond 2F0, beyond 2F0, this we have seen from the lens theorem. And if this image, this is the image for this lens objective, image of objective behaves as the object, behaves as object for the bigger lens, that is eyepiece. Eyepiece, and we just got a larger aperture and larger aperture and larger focal length than this objective. So this we call it as an eyepiece. And the lens can be adjusted so, so that the image, the image of this lens which becomes an object for this lens, that is a real image. This is a real image. And inverted. And enlarged enlarged by this lens which will form object for this lens and this lens will further this lens will further enlarge this image like this and because if since if we are keeping the lenses so adjusted that the ab this object for this lens falls between the focal length of the eyepiece and the optic center of the second lens. It means we have already seen if, a, if an object is kept in between focal length and the optic center, its enlarged image in the same side will be formed and that image will be the virtual and enlarged. Therefore, it consists of the compound microscope consists of two, two convex lens this is lens one this is lens two where this is its focal length is focal length of the object it's, this is the focal length of the eyepiece in which the focal length of the eyepiece is much less than the focal of the eyepiece and the lens which is facing the object is called objective the lens which is facing the eye eye is called eyepiece. These are the and tube length. What is tube length? Tube length arc we can call R, we can call it as compound 
micro microscope length this length is given by the distance between these two lenses so this distance between the two lenses is called tube length l where it is focal length of the object focal length of the eyepiece and the object is kept here its enlarged image will be formed here and this lens act as a as a simple microscope I mean this enlarges image this further enlarges the image which acts as the that is eyepiece eyepiece behaves as a simple microscope for simple microscope the magnification for simple micro the magnification for simple microscope is given by least distance of distinct vision divided by object length this is a general expression and if the image is made to form at the least distance of distinct vision then this equation will be 1 by d plus focal length of the simple microscope if the image is made to fall at infinity then magnification of the object and formed at infinity is given by d by focal length of the simple microscope construction and working of simple microscope as we have already told it consists of it consists of two lenses two lenses this is objective this is objective and the image the object is kept beyond this is f naught that is this distance is from this is f naught that is objective lens focal length of the objective lens and this is the point f naught and here the object is kept a b whose height is h this is object so from here through this lens a ray will pass like this another ray will pass like this two rays are sufficient to get the image of image of this object so this will go pass through this focus like this and this will pass through a ray which is going along the optic center will go through and through like this where it is intercepting where it is intercepting its image is formed that is image so this is e b so it will be b dash this will be a dash this is the image whose height is h dash this is h so it will go like this okay now this is the objective lens and we will have the eyepiece lens which is larger which is larger than which is larger than the eyepiece which is larger than the objective lens so this is the image it will go like this So an object is kept in front of the objective, objective eyepiece, its image, since the object is kept beyond the focal length of this eyepiece, so its enlarged image will be formed, its enlarged image will be formed at between f0 and 2f0 as per the lens theory, if the object is kept beyond f0, the image will be formed beyond the to f naught, where f naught stands for the and not stand for the objective, which is the focal length of the objective. Now, these two rays, this is the image formed by the objective, and this image will serve as the object for the eyepiece. Eyepiece. So, when it is forming image of the eyepiece, when it is absorbed through the eyepiece, through the eyepiece, this forms as the we take a line like this. So when it forms, 
this image is further enlarged the image formed by this lens is a real inverted this real inverted image forms as the objective object for this eyepiece in which which is made this lens is so adjusted so that the image is formed within the focal length of the eyepiece if anything kept between the focal length of the eyepiece it's a magnified and magnified image will be formed in the same side. Magnified image will be formed in the same side and that will be a virtual image. That will be a virtual image will be formed. It means this simply this eye lens behaves simply as a simple microscope. The image is first enlarged and further it is enlarged by keeping the image by keeping the image as object for this one within the focal length of this eyepiece and we get an enlarged image so the image will be formed here like this so this is where the image is formed this is b double dash a double dash so for object image image it means the magnification this is object final magnification is inverted it means the magnification of the compound microscope is always negative that is the image what we get will be inverted as compared to the object so magnification will be negative for compound microscope microscope Okay, now let us decide. Now, now let us see this one. When seen by the naked eye, when the image is kept at the least distance of distinct vision, when the object is kept at the least distance of distinct vision, then when we we can get a maximum magnified image. It can be kept anywhere from infinity up to least distance of distinct vision, but with the least distance of distinct vision, then only we will get the maximum magnification when seen with the naked eye. So the angle septum, this is the angle, this is alpha is alpha is the angle subtended by the object whose height is object height is h this is an object which is kept at a distance of least distance of distinction in order to get the maximized image maximized view of the object okay now from here this is the object its image and its images for her further enlarge and this is the real image and this is virtual image of the original object okay now what is the magnification first we will see the magnification of object and we will see the magnification of ips magnification magnification of objective is equal to as it is we are studying magnification is equal to image height this is image height for this lens image height by object height object height since object height is erect it is positive need not to put but it is negative we put negative sign here which is equal to which a b dash is equal to minus of h dash divided by plus of h because AB is equal to H, A dash B dash is equal to H dash and this is H double dash. This is a magnification of objective. So also we can term it as in terms of the image length and objective length. That is image length divided by object length. Since image length, this is image length where the image length is image for this lens is formed here this is the image of the objective form and this is the this distance this distance is u of the objective lens this is the object lens and this is c1 the distance is always measured along the ray direction is positive against the ray direction this is ray direction so it means this is the object is kept here with respect to objective so this is the objective length which is supposed to be minus u 
as per the sign convention and the emergence is along the redirection from here to here which is v dot v dot u dot for this objective lens so we can write it as minus v dot di u dot this is the magnification as well as as far as the objective is concerned now let's come for the eyepiece magnification of eyepiece magnification of eyepiece so since this is behaving further enlarging in the same side it behaves as a simple microscope the second lens eyepiece behaves as simple microscope since it is behaving as a simple microscope the general expression for the magnification of the simple microscope is given by least distance of distinguishing divided by the object distance for the particular lens it means this is the object for this lens and this is the image formed by this lens or we can write this is the u object distance for the eyepiece since we are coming against it will be negative so by minus we can write it as d by this is the general expression d by m is equal to d by u e d by u e because this has already derived with by putting the this equation is already derived we have in the simple microscope by putting simple by putting sign convention so we need not to put any sign here so m e is equal to d by u e and total magnification is equal to beta by alpha where beta is equal to where beta is equal to angle subtended by final image by final by final this is final image this is first image second image final image at the i at the i it means what we can write it this distance what is this distance this total distance this distance is equal to because the image is formed from here this is the object for this one this is the image formed by the eyepiece so we can write it very clearly later so this is object distance from here the object is for this lens object it is image is formed here so from the lens from the lens the distance of image from the lens is called image distance of the eyepiece so at the eyepiece so beta we can write it beta here this is the angle beta why because what the eye this is the eyepiece what is the angle made by the final image with respect to the eye is beta so beta is equal to can be written as beta this is a dash b dash also this triangle also consists of beta and this triangle also beta we can write it beta is equal to uh, since beta since beta is a very small angle beta is a very small angle so we can write it approximately is equal to tan of beta why we write it tan of beta because for small angle tan of that angle is equal to that angle itself so tan of beta what is tan of beta tan of beta is equal to for this triangle we can take tan that is center of optics for the second lens and that is this side by this side that is we can write a dash b dash divided by b dash b dash c2 tan beta is equal to b dash c2 a dash b dash a dash what is a dash b dash a dash b dash is equal to minus h dash or you can write a dash b dash is equal to h dash and divided by b dash c dash is equal to minus u is equal to h dash by u this is tan beta h dash by u is equal to tan beta okay now what is alpha magnification is equal to total magnification is equal to beta by alpha where alpha is equal to angle 
September at the naked eye by object. Here. This is the naked eye angle subtended. This is alpha subtended by the object with the naked eye because we get the maximum. We can, as we are bringing up to, we can bring the object closer up to least distance of distribution, but we can take it away also. Still, we can be able to see the image, but it will be small. So, we get the maximum exposure of the image, maximum exposure of the object when it is kept at least distance of distinct vision, which is nothing but here we see A, B, that is object is the A, B, which is also is equal to tan of alpha, which is approximately equal to, because the alpha is a very small angle. So, what is tan alpha? Tan alpha is equal to this by this, that is A, B by D. So, AB, AB is a height, is, since it is a height, we can write it as positive, and D, we are measuring from the lens this side, so minus D. Therefore, alpha, so magnification, entire magnification, equals to magnification of objective, and to magnification of eyepiece. So, so we, can, we can say, no, magnification also is equal to beta, Magnification is also equal to beta by alpha. What is beta? Beta is equal to tan beta. Tan beta is equal to h dash by, and we can write it as h dash by u. Also, we can write it in terms of h dash by u. Also, we can write it. So, h dash by u, this is beta and divided by u. What is this? Tan alpha is equal to ab. ab is equal to h by minus d h by minus d. So, we can write h by minus d. So, this is equal to h dash by h into d by u. This minus will come here. So this is a magnificent. What is h dash by h? h dash by h is equal to u, u naught by v naught by u naught. From here, minus of h dash by h is equal to, and h dash is the height of the height of the first image, and h w dash is equal to h w dash is equal to height of the second image, where minus of h dash by h is equal to minus of u naught by v naught, where image distance of the objective and objective object distance of the objective. So we can replace minus h dash by h as minus v naught by u naught minus v naught by u naught this this can be replaced from here this can be replaced like this multiplied by d by u where u stands for what u where the object is placed because this is only working as a simple microscope this distance u is counted so, not for the objective, this is u, is for ue, so we will write ue. So, hence we can mention the magnification, total magnification is given by minus v naught by u naught into d by ue. Because this portion, we again and again remind, this is acting as a simple microscope whose magnification is equal to least distance of distinguishing divided by the distance of object with respect to this lens, that is distance of object with respect to the eyepiece. Therefore, to summarize all, <coughs> the net magnification is equal to magnification, net magnification of the compound microscope is equal to magnification of objective into magnification of eyepiece, which is equal to minus of V naught by U naught into D by U E, where M also can be written as alpha beta, beta by alpha. beta by alpha.
So this is the generalized expression for the magnification of the magnification of the compound microscope where this stands for the magnification of simple microscope since the eyepiece behaves as a simple microscope. Here we need not to put sign convention, no sign convention to be used used for V naught, U naught, D, F naught and F E because already we have derived all this formula all this formula by putting the sign convention. So magnification is simply the magnification of the compound microscope is negative that is a negative comes means this is the image and the negative magnification comes in this image form is inverted image form is final image form is inverted for simple microscope the generalist expression for magnification of ips that is which is being as a simple microscope is d by ue which is equal to 1 plus d by focal length of the ips or when the image is formed at least, least distance of distinction and which is equal to d by fe when the image is formed by the final image is formed at the infinity we get this we use this expression which is the expression for the simple microscope when the image is formed at the infinity this is the magnification of eyepiece that is simple microscope when the image is formed at least distance of distinct vision therefore there are two cases in the simple in the compound microscope that image is formed either at least distance of distinct vision or image may be formed at infinity. So we will take case 1. Case 1. When the image is formed at near point It is D, that is strained eye. So magnification of the magnification of the compound microscope. Compound microscope is given by minus V naught by U naught into D by U E. This is the general expression for the this is the this second portion behaves as a simple microscope and the general expression for the simple microscope and this is the magnification of the objective magnification of the objective so therefore m is equal to if since the image is formed that is this image is formed at least distance of distinction it means the image distance from the eyepiece is equal to v is equal to d since if it is formed at least distance of distinction we can write this equation v naught by u naught into v naught into d one into one plus d by f e so therefore we can write this magnification when the image is formed at least a distance of distinct vision and the tube length that is microscope length microscope length is given by L which is the distance between these two convex lens this distance this distance is equal to the distance plus this distance that is the distance between the objective and eyepiece is equal to the distance between that is the objective image distance of the objective objective plus objective object distance of the eyepiece that is v dot this portion plus this portion so we can write it measure the length of compound length of
where L is equal to the length of the compound microscope. The compound micro length of the compound microscope is the distance between both this convex lens. That lens can be taken as this lens that is V naught plus U E. V naught where V naught is the distance of image distance of image distance image distance of objective plus objective distance of eyepiece. So you can write V naught plus minus of UE, minus of UE. Why we write minus of UE? Because the distance is measured from the center of the second lens up to that object. So it is negative distance, it is negative distance as per sign convention and we, we want to add this distance and this distance therefore we take the modulus factor. This is equal to V naught plus UE. This is the length of the compound microscope when the image is formed at least distance of distinct vision. Case 2. Case 2. Image, final image is formed at infinity. So this is the final image, this is the first image second image, final image formed at infinity that is relaxed I that is when it is formed at infinity means the image is formed at four point. So in this case the total magnification is equal to magnification of objective into the general expression for the simple microscope d by u e when the image is made formed at infinity then this expression we can write it as minus v naught by u naught this remains as it is multiplied by d by f e whereas we write 1 plus d by f e for the when the image is formed at least distance of distinguishing when it is formed at infinity we remove this portion so this is the magnification when the image is formed at infinity. Now, tube length, that is tube length of the compound microscope. Length of the compound microscope is the distance between this both the convex lens. See, if the image is to be formed at infinity, if the image is to be formed at infinity, the object should be kept at focus. It means this is the image form, this is the image formed by this objective and that becomes object for this eyepiece. It means this object should be kept at focal length of this lens. That is the Fe will come here. Fe will come here. This is Fe. It means the object is kept at focal length of this lens so that the image is formed at infinity. It means this length from here to this length Ue will become Fe. Therefore, we can write image length is equal to V naught plus Fe, this distance. This distance is, this is Fe and this distance is focal length of the eyepiece. This is the, this is the length of the tube when the image is formed at infinity. Since, since the object lies very close to the focal point of the objective that is object lies object object lie close to f naught that is focal point focal point of the objective it means it is this is forming closer to focal length it means u naught what is u naught this is u naught u naught will, will be f naught that is since the object is laying here closer to the focal point then this distance is u naught u naught is almost equal to f naught that is u naught is approximately equal to f naught and also the image will be formed closer to the eyepiece. The image will be formed formed close to eyepiece. 
that is the, this image is formed almost formed close to the eyepiece it means what the image distance v dot that is v dot is equal to v dot when it is closer this is the v dot v dot from here it goes to v dot here that because it is lies this is closer to the eyepiece when u dot is for u dot is kept close to the f naught it means v naught will become almost equal to length of the almost equal to the length of the microscope because this length is equal to length of the compound microscope in that case magnification when magnification when the image is formed as least distance of distinct vision is equal to minus v naught by u naught into d by ue since it is kept at least distance of ue this will become 1 plus d by fe and v dot what is v dot v dot is equal to v dot is replaced by l and u dot is replaced by f naught into 1 plus d by fe this is the magnification of compound microscope in terms of length and focal length. That is when the image is formed at least distance of distinguishing, that is at near point. Same way, the image formed, if the image is formed at infinity, the magnification formed will be minus V naught by U naught n term d by ue which can be replaced by for simple microscope d by fe since v naught is equal to l minus l u naught is equal to f naught into d by fe this is the magnification when the image is formed at infinity magnification we can express in terms of cube length as well as focal length of the objective therefore for a compound microscope for a compound microscope scope the magnification of the microscope is equal to magnification of objective into magnification of the eyepiece where eyepiece behaves as a simple microscope so magnification is equal to minus v dot by u dot n to d by ue this is general formula when the image is formed at image is formed at least distant of distinct vision that is at near point strain drive so the magnification will become minus v dot by u dot n to 1 plus d by fe when image is formed at a later distance of distinguishing in terms of cube length v naught is equal to l u naught is equal to f naught into 1 plus d by f e so if the image is formed at infinity at infinity image is formed at infinity in this case magnification is equal to minus v naught by u naught into d by ue for simple microscope this becomes minus v dot by u dot n to d by fe and in terms of this is magnification when image is formed at infinity this is magnification when image is formed at least distance of distinction if v dot is my v dot becomes l u dot becomes f dot into d by fe this is when image is formed at infinity this is when image is formed as least distance of distinction and the tube length tube length when the image is formed at least distance of distinction is equal to v naught plus ue and length of the compound microscope when the image is formed at infinity is equal to v naught plus FE. This is all about the microscope.